Andy's just pulling out of the shed there. Um, we're about to get started. It's minus two, and today, out of all the days, we're gonna be doing some concreting. I know it's not perfect, but gotta get on with it. So my dad's just dropping off the pallet tines. He'll be putting the MX bucket on. My coat on, because it was left in the TM, and it's freezing. Um, I could do with putting some fertiliser on because it's going to snow tomorrow so um, after that it might get too wet to get on the field so I could really get on, do, get to do with really do with getting that on today if I can get my words out Andy's getting backed up to the bales got one in look so Andy's just bedding those guys up Dad to get to feed them very nice job Andy how are we doing fella? water troughs overflowing I've got to stick my arm in the water which is iced up to try and sort it it's gonna be lovely isn't it I think it might have frozen open oh it's cold so as my dad's leaving here Set up here to back onto these bales. Will he do it? Will he do it? Will he do it? Oh, he's mastered it. Morning, Andy. Morning. You alright? Yeah, good. Yes. My hand's still cold. I've just had to put it in that freezing what? Like, literally, there's a circle of ice on the top of it. See, there was ice on there. Yeah. I think it's the only thing ice on this morning. Yeah, it is actually, yeah. <laughs> There's um, but I don't think I've solved it, so I'll have to have a look, another look at it and probably get my hands cold again. Lovely. Have oh, you got a bit of spare time? Nah. <laughs> busy, busy today. Busy, busy day today. It's coffee time. It's coffee time, Andy. Looks like you need it. Dad's just feeding a bit of beet out with a KW. Andy's sorted his shear bolt out, but we've now got none left, so we'll have to have a trip up to Ripon Farm Services to sort that out. Now, I am going to jump on the 9 metre. Um, we're going to get some fertiliser put in the back of the spreader, because I want to get it on before it snows. I think it's snowing today and tomorrow, is it? Something like that. So, yeah, let's just try and get it on, and then we won't have to uh, make a mess, because the conditions are so dry at the minute. It's like ideal for driving machines on fields but of course because it's cold the nine meter won't start fantastic so andy's tractor sorted it again back up and running just filled up the spreader with fur now so we'll get off to the field looks like the builders are here tm's up at the end of the drive there ready for our installation um, so that'll be happening in a bit of concrete with getting poured today. He's been filling it with rocks. Save a bit of concrete, eh, Andy? Yeah. So I've just done this field that has the uh, World War II artillery embankments in it. The idea was um, they were trying to catch German planes flying over to bomb Sheffield. Um, but the story I've been told it never got used. They were never fired a shot at a plane anyway, but um, yeah, just here to protect uh, Sheffield. So we're just sat at the side of the scrapyard now, putting some fertiliser on. Now, I don't know what that is there. I don't know if that's some waste. Oh, it's wet, isn't it? It doesn't look great. Big goods train going past. They carry some weight, don't they? Got a nice bit of fly tip in look. Yeah, this train's gonna go on forever. Oh no, it's finished, it's finished. 
chasing a partridge up the field. It'll fly off in a minute. There we go. Coming to the bit of the field here where we put the drain in. Usually there's massive ruts here, but it's been dry and we put the drain in. To be honest, it's still, you know, you can tell that it's still a wet area of the field. But it's nowhere near as bad as it was. Looks like Ben's here. We'll go and find him. The end of the drive is now concreted, so I'm guessing these guys are down here concreting the um, shed footing holes things. So Andy's here tamping away in the holes. Top concreter. Hey. Top concreter. Top concreter, yeah. Jeez, has somebody asked for some extra water in that one? Is it? How deep you dug holes? That was deep, that one. Deep enough. I've just filled the spreader up and we're off, 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 back out of the yard. <laughs> right, I'll just show you that other bit of concrete anyway. So there we have it. They're just going to put these bolts here into the concrete when it sets a little bit. It's just a little bit too wet at the minute. Ash has sent me this footage today. One point to Ash, make sure it's in landscape next time and then I don't have to put my face at the side of it. Um, <laughs> it's a man truck spreading some lime. Um, which is, it's quite unique, isn't it? Like normally it's like a tractor pulling something. But I'm guessing with the lime spreading they get here, there and everywhere and um, having that ability to go a bit faster on roads and um, I'm sure it'll be four wheel drive as well. But if anybody knows more about them, let me know in the comments below, but it's quite a unique machine, so I thought I'd chuck it in the video. Cheers, Ash! Now in the long, really narrow field, so we've got one here and one on the side there, just um, up and down around the outside, and then one down the middle, it's not even full width, and the field's done. So Ben's gonna fill my hopper. Subscribe to Joe Seal's YouTube, eh? Business, I should put hashtag business, yeah. That's better business. Yes, this is interesting. We've got a big crane on the wind turbine. It's a beast of a crane, isn't it? I do like it down here. It's good land, but as I've said before, if it floods, you're knackered. Does anybody recognise that in regards to my videos? If you do, let me know in comments an interesting one that one see who's been watching and listening and um, see people know the answer hmm. GXO. Hmm. another problem down here the goose now they're on his neighbor's field at the minute but they don't know no boundaries and they'll soon be on here i'm sure in fact it looks like they've already been on in, in different parts it all used to be farmland and it's turned into the RSPB site, which, you know, it's great. It's great for biodiversity and everything that comes along with that. Like, we work really closely with the RSPB, grazing the cattle on there and, and all that kind of thing. But it also brings pests, like the Canadian goats, like, they love to be on there. I'm sure the RSPB are probably sick of all Canadian geese as well. But obviously they need to take a standpoint where it's the Royal Protection for the Society of Birds or whatever, it, I can't remember what the, the acronym is for. <sighs> yeah. I think we need to control them, basically. We just need to get more, con get more control of them. Because the damage that they're doing to the food production system is, uh, is well, it's massive for us. There's that crane again. It's got like some guide ropes or something holding it down what a beast back in the yard now i think everybody's had the dinner apart from me um and i'm ready for it let me tell you that i am very much ready for it Andy are on doing some milling getting mixes done and things like that they've also just filled the lorry with the cows so my dad can set off with them just starting to snow now um and I, my tank's full, so I'm going to go and take um, take this and get this chucked on. 
we'll see how much the snow comes down. So it's quite bad in some parts of England already and um, we've got snow forecast for tomorrow as well so um, yeah hope everyone's safe. Um, out and about make sure if it is bad stop in watch some youtube hey eh? business unless you're a farmer and you've got loads of cows to feed and stuff like that then, then you've got to go out on here um, yeah. yeah so pretty much my target audience has to go out whether it's snowing or not oh well I suppose i mean the best thing for snow and i'm in a tractor like it's gonna have to snow a lot to stop this Wow, it's uh, it's really coming down now. We don't normally get snow like this. Well, it's a bit like hail at the minute. Is it like, is it the Norwegians or the ice people from Iceland have like a million different words for uh, for snow? All the different types. Well, I'm not sure which one you'd call this, but it's a bit like hail. Really trigger some people here and say, this is how much nitrogen I've put on. <laughs> Like white all over. All things can change in five minutes. Wow. Definitely two ton of nitrogen to the hectare there. Maybe to acre. Should grow well. And Andy have been getting the legs out so that we can uh, cut them down to fit what we need and get them painted and stuff. These two are laughing at me. Andy's been writing something on the back of here, I think. We'll go and find out. Can't really see it. Right, it's time for me to blast it all off and get it clean. I've just finished washing the spreader. Andy's down there still filling the mill. And I thought I'd come and see what Ben's getting up to up here. Go on then, Ben, tell us what you're doing. Hiding it. Hiding it. Nobody can see it. It's not set. It's not set. Still wet, is it? Well, so that that's setting a little bit. I suppose it's only a small piece, though, isn't it? Well, I did put my hand in it. Tops of it. Yeah, soft. So yeah, um, putting it on. So then, when it freezes tonight, hopefully, it should be fine. So we've hillbilly weighted it down with rocks and wood and stuff and hopefully that'll make it survive farmer recycling at its best could all go in the bin and to waste but we're using them for a purpose Repur what do you call it ups upcycling is it we've upcycled upcycled all these fertilizer bags right now they're gonna end up in bin anyway but you know it does i some anything on andy's new whip well it's not his new whip but he's got something new on it time for a sort of snowy but no snow on the ground mix of mentions um it is a happy 12th birthday to sean borgley and also a happy birthday to chris from lita so um, thank you guys you've raised four thousand two hundred and thirty one pounds all you guys that have donated um thank you all so much yorkshire ambulance i am sure will appreciate that amount um if anybody else wants their name on the mixer or mention for any sort of reason at all can be anything then there's a link in the description below um, and it takes you straight to the just giving page where the money goes straight to the charity if you just remind your um parents partners whoever's going to send a mixed mention for you that to do it on the day the morning of the birthday or the day before yeah sorry i complicated that a little bit but it just makes it easier for me to um, read them off and put them on there thank you all these guys now are patiently waiting for some feed. I think that's going to be our next step. We'll start feeding round. Um, and then have a more reasonable finish time tonight. It was dark last night when I finished. Andy got finished nice, but I sticked it out and did a few more bags. And I'm glad because the snow has stopped us spreading fur. Anyway, I'm, I've got a bit more to do. I've got another five or six bags to put on, but... Um, we'll just have to wait until this passes it comes dry again and i'll put it on then but um, yeah just farming and weather and it is putting stuff in with the spread of mail just letting andy in now so we can get fed up with these guys see what these guys are like in here after a snowy night i imagine this outside bit might get a bit mucky we've got plenty of room inside Keep nice and dry. 
I'm just moving the mill out now, but it's snowing again. We don't get snow like this. All the Canadians watching now are just like laughing their heads off like, well, that's not snow. Well, yeah, this is snow to us. This is like big news. My brother is literally genuinely excited that it's gonna snow a lot. And he's like, yes, I've got to, I've got to Land Rover discover it. And this is the reason I have one. Um, yeah, where is that? I've got a car. Mine's four wheel drive though. I mean, Audi's four wheel drive. So it should be alright as well. Not that I've got far to go up and walk. It's rare that I have the heater on full blast in this JCB, but <laughs> I have to do it. Oh, it's toasty in here. Got a bit of snow on the Trafford. Andy's car's windscreen's got a good covering. We've got Mr. Pheasant in the yard again. I bet he's a bit wet and miserable today. Got some snow on the back of his tail, has he? Or is that just a white feather? Hmm. Don't know, can't work it out. Probably snow, I think. <laughs> Andy's been changing his shear bolts because my dad's got him some new ones. This is a broken one. It's just a plain bolt. Right? Oh, was that the plain yeah, one that you just, the spare? Get through the day. We didn't work. So yeah, we're back up and running now with this, hopefully, fingers crossed. So everything's in the shed now. Tucked away. Oh, I need to do that barley, actually. I need to just tidy that in. And that's all tidied away now, so that's uh, done nicely. Me and Andy are gonna call it a night because it's cold, it's freezing. Um, if it snows much more, Andy might not be able to get home. He has his four-wheel drive as well, isn't it? Yeah, we got no, we got no worries. We got uh, what do they call it? Quattro, that's it. Yeah. Do, Vos, Vos Dersch technique, is it? Yeah, is it? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Probably got it wrong. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you've liked today's video, remember to press the like button. Uh, I say it every time, but it really, really does help the channel out. And subscribe if you're not already. Tomorrow, hopefully, if there's not too much snow, there is really, really exciting things coming. Tomorrow. Oh, I'm excited anyway about it. I don't know about anybody else, but I am. And, um, oh, Andy, we looked at your car earlier. Did you? Yeah. yeah. you like it? Yeah, yeah, I do. And I think it would look better with the stickers on. Yeah, he's getting his crazy bolt all over the car, so. Um, yeah, we'll I, need to to for that. I need to promote it, don't I? Yes, you do, yeah. <laughs> he's promoting it on his, on his like, hour, hours long um, journeys down to Devon. Yeah. So you'll be able to pip, pip and wave well. at him. Yeah, you will, yeah. Just to slow down. Because people will be messaging yeah. you on whatever. Mm. Um, Thanks for watching guys, we're going, bye. I wonder what the snow's like tomorrow. You'll find out in tomorrow's video. Bye. Before we go, we've got some visitors in the yard. Hey, he's a boy, isn't he? He's got two ladies.